looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a refer. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is going to be my E3 vlog uh, recap video number two. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, but there has been so much that has gone on today. It's literally like information overload. So I'm, I apologize if I ramble, if my thoughts seem all over the place. It's a lot to process, a lot to register, and a lot to uh, convey out to all of you. Um, so first of all, let me just say that um, I'm not even sure when I'm going to upload this video, whether it's going to be like literally as soon as I'm done or in the morning because it's pretty late right now. Um, and it's even later for y'all because y'all are probably asleep because you know, you know, if you're on the East Coast, it's later for you. Um, let me and uh, I'm going to do a review for each conference, an individual video review for each conference. So this is just a overview recap of things that have happened, uh, you know, that I experienced today. Um, overall, not about the specific con uh, conferences and what and what games they showed and what happened. Um, that those are going to be individual videos, but this is just my overall experience. So today, let me first start out by start out by saying this: e if you're a gamer, right, E3 is really something you have to experience. It is absolutely it, it's nothing like watching it on TV. It, being here is way better than watching it on TV. It's it's totally different. Just the atmosphere, the experience, it's social, it's live. It just feels so much different. Right? Like Hard 8 and Solid Rev, like Hard 8 brought up the fact that I spent 3k on this um 3000 like that like like around 3000. That's that's not that's not the to come to E3, to go to E3. That's between like the camera equipment that I paid for, the the plane tickets, um, and the whole and the hotel, all of that, everything that went into this uh, cost me three k. And I can tell you, this is only day one of. Well, this is the official day one of E three. Yesterday was just you know when I arrived here and had to do all the pre -registr registration stuff. So this is official day one where I went to the different press conferences, and I can tell you right now. I feel like I got my money's worth, and there's still three more days of this. I feel like I com I completely got my money's worth. I'm not even lying to you. I'm not you know saying that to make myself be better. I'm telling you the complete truth, because it's just it's just so much better than watching it. It's nothing like watching it on TV. I don't. I feel like I've gotten every penny's worth already. I'm happy I came. I f I feel like I picked the best E3 possible to come. Like the between all the all the press conferences. I went to three EA, Sony's, and Microsoft's. Between those press conferences, I feel like it's been completely worth it because Sony, Microsoft did their thing. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to get deeper into that uh, in the future in the individual review videos. Microsoft did their thing. They were so consistent and precise with the with here's a game, here's a another hit game, here's a game. No BS, no filler. They had very they they had virtually no low points. Sony had more low points um, and, and, and little dull points in their conference, but they had like three megatons, just three bombs they dropped, right? So, but both of them did really good. And then EA, EA had a, had a decent conference. Like I said, I feel like pro Ubisoft was probably better. I didn't get into Ubisoft. But yeah, between the three, I don't regret a damn thing. I am so glad. Like, this is the best, like... The E3 I finally came to was the E3 that, like, three, four, or five of some of the most anticipated and waited for games finally came. Finally revealed. Some of the most anticipated games ever, you know, were, were revealed. Couldn't have picked a better E3. I'm glad I didn't go last year. Last year was complete trash. No, no, not really nothing to remember, remember from last year. This E3? Amazing! I couldn't have picked a better E3 to start out with, um, but let's start. It. Let's let's go into how. Oh, before I get get into the day, let me just say that uh, some advice to anybody that comes to E3 in the future: pack extra of everything. Um, I'm talking about regarding your electronics, like extra phone battery. Uh, get yeah, get an extra phone battery, especially if you got like you know these Android smartphones. Um, have an extra battery. Make sure both of them charged. 
and then have an extra external battery. For your camera, make sure you got an extra battery also for your, you know, separate camera. Camera, because I had the camera, uh, the, uh, the Canon EOS Rebel. Have an extra battery for that. And then have an extra memory card. Have a big memory card and have two of them. Because you don't want to you don't want to no, take no chances. And uh, yeah, and in, in, in any instances where I saw like I was having tweeting trouble, it's because T-Mobile kind of sucks out here. T-Mobile sucks in a lot of places, honestly. In New York, they're good. Other places you go, they suck. So I was having bad connection. A lot of other people were having bad connection too um, inside the convention center. So that's why I had trouble tweeting sometimes. But how the day went, um, you know, I woke up, the Microsoft's conference was like 9 or something like that. I woke up early once to make sure I got there early. Uh, you know, you went through the whole, you know, they gave you your passes. They, you know, you showed that uh, you belong there, you know, showed your credentials and everything. Um, it was, the, the, the attendees were, diff were separated from the media. There's different seats and everything like that. Um, what's strange is it didn't really matter what time you got there because they kind of, okay, so they, when you got there, you know, you went through, and showed them your credentials, everything. They kind of line you up in front of the door, Black Friday style. There's no like single file line or anything like that. It's just Black Friday style. All line up in front of these set of stairs. And, and then when they say go in, you just go in. They just let, literally let the floodgates open. But surprisingly, nobody acted crazy. It wasn't like anybody was stampeding or running. People were briskly walking. Obviously, they wanted to get down to business. So people were walking quickly, but nobody acted like a damn idiot or anything like that. So I was surprised. I was like, I was like, this is gonna end up badly, and I'm like, this is gonna be a hazard. But nah, it was really cool, really simple. Um, and what was really strange about it is, regardless of where you were in line, when you walked in, they gave you random seat assignments. So you could be the first person in line. Doesn't mean you're gonna get the best seat. It was just literally, hey, here's a ticket. That's your seat. Random place. I'm like, okay. Like I got a I got a good seat. Um, it was all the way to the right because it it was uh, uh two levels. It was the upper level and lower level. I was at the actually yeah there no there was three levels. I was at the second level, all the way to the right. But the second level was like really low to the uh really low to the first level. So I was all the way to the right. It would have been better for me to get been more to the center so I can get better footage of of the screen. You know right uh, down the right down the middle. But it was still good. So, uh, you know, Microsoft, I guess the Microsoft did their thing. I'll get in deeper into that into another video. Um, after that conference um, at the Galen Center, that was, you know, where Microsoft did it. Then we went, then I met up with a few uh, people from uh, YouTube and uh, other outlets like uh, Game Fanatics. I met up with a dude from Gaming Realm, that Shokio site. Um, met, uh, you know, Breezy, the, you know, y'all know him, uh, the YouTuber from, and, his, and his Junkie Monkey crew. Uh, Erica from uh, She Attack, uh, you know, met up with them. We 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 kicked it. We went to EA's press conference, which was the Shrine Auditorium, I believe. That's right across the street from EA. So we literally walked like a minute, and it was right across the street from uh, Microsoft's uh, press conference. So, so that was convenient. But a lot of these conferences aren't that close to each other. Like I think Ubisoft is like really far in uh, West Bubble uh, land. Um, so. It, and Sony's was a decent walk. So we went to EA's, uh, uh, and that, you know, it was decent. Like I said, I'll get into the details of that later. But their, their uh, venue was a little bit different. It was their venue. All of these venues, obviously, they use them for different things. Um, these, uh, you know, the, the owned, whoever, you know, they rent them out to use them for different things. This was more of like a club. You can tell this is more like a club type thing or something made for a performance because uh, because of the way it was set up um, and on the upper level there were not even any chairs it's only on the lower level it was it was bigger uh, and a longer like wider setup than uh, the the venue of Microsoft but and they were then they had seats set up on the lower level there was no seats on the upper level um, and in the past someone told me that EA's press conference at the previous at a few previous press conference conferences there weren't even any seats at all so people had to stand up the whole like hour and a half or however long it was this year they had seats at the bottom I you know when you got the black pass you were able to sit at the bottom level which which I had right there uh, if you had a white one they told you to go up to the top but they really weren't enforcing it you could be at the you could have a white and like sit and be at and be at the bottom honestly so I stayed at the bottom just to get some footage and everything like that um, so after the after that press conference uh, we all, you know, I was still with everybody 
um, I was with. Um, I also today I also met. I ran into Malik. Y'all know Malik from YouTube. Malik uh, Foreplay. He's with Nerdist now. I ran into Tick. Shout out to Tick. Tick Podcast. Um, um, Y'all know I, I. You know later on I ran into. Uh, well, yeah, we uh, we uh, took a picture with Mark Cerny, um, you know, architecture, you know, and maker of PlayStation, everything like that, um, and Chris Balestra and Evan Wells from Naughty Dog met up with them. You know, we were really tr- just trying to like meet up with a couple people in the industry, at least take a picture with them, and you know, you know, that's what you get get out there for. And and it's great networking. It's a it, that's what's one of the greatest things about E3. It's a great networking experience, right? Because and it, 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 it's 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 social and it's live, like I said, because when you're all there for one purpose, which is gaming, that's what connects you, right? So you can just walk up to somebody real random and talk to them. It's cool. We all there for the same reason. It's, it's for these games. You know, like I was standing in line for the Microsoft one, and there was a couple of dudes from Vsauce, because when you got your pass on, it tells you what outlet what outlet you're from. And I just started a random conversation. Oh, like, oh, y'all, y'all from Vsauce, huh? And v, Vsauce 3 was their channel. And, you know, that, that, they got, like, I think over, like, 2 million subscribers, and I just, like, started a conversation with them. And, you know, you do a lot of switches. You know, the switches, you know, you, uh, the networking, you hand them your card. I got my business cards. Um, I don't know if, if I've shown you my business cards. Uh, but, yeah, I got, you know, you got your business cards on deck. You hand somebody your business, you hand somebody a business card, they, they hand, they hand uh, you know, and you yours. I actually started a random. We started a random conversation. We stopped by a Starbucks, and I started a random conversation with this guy because I noticed he had the EA backpack. Because EA gave you a bat uh, at the EA press conference, they gave you a little backpack with a water and a neutral game bar in it. I guess that was their gift bag or whatever. And I seen he had it, and you know I was like, oh, here's my card. And he happened to be. Here's the crazy part. He he happened to work for NPD. Here's the even crazier part. He's from New York networking man i'm telling you he so he works for N- npd you know the, the place that a lot of these fanboys claim you know isn't relevant and you know it, it isn't reliable npd is fixing all these you know all this other crazy stuff these zealots and delusional people like the state he works for npd and now i'm having a conversation with him about uh figures and sales and how things are calculated and digital games and physical games and all in this conversation about the whole thing we just talking back and forth he walked with us to the sony press conference networking man it's, it's a huge thing uh you know to build up your contacts is a great place for that so like i said that happened after we left uh you know ea's press conference um then we walked to sony's press conference which was a decent walk the, now a lot of people like sony's press conferences because they have a pre-conference that starts at four o'clock the main show starts at six o'clock right but at four o'clock they have food and drinks. That's why a lot of people like them. Free food, free drinks. It's not like little BS, little food platters, little refreshments. No, it's legit cooked food like shrimp, my dude. Shrimp. I had some I had some good shrimp and it's you could take as much as you want, real shrimp and it tastes good. Like all this food tastes good. They had the different tents set up of the different type of food and and everybody was out there mad people just a lot of heads everywhere, man. People was having a good time. Um, so yeah, you you stuff your face. You know they had they didn't have any crazy liquor or anything like that. They just had champ. They had some champagne, some beer, or whatever like that. Um, so that's why a lot of people like Sony's press conference, especially before. You know, and I wasn't even gonna go to it. I was gonna skip that and like, nah, I'll just go to the one. I'll just go to the main event at six o'clock. Somebody told me like, nah. You don't want to go to, want to go to that pre-conference meeting at four. They giving out free real food, my dude. I'm like, I'm there, I'm there. That's all you had to tell me. I'm there. So, um, yeah, we went to uh, we went to Sony's, and uh, yeah, we went, and then we we ate, kicked it, networked a little bit, met people. Um, after the uh, conference, um, you know, after the conference, that's when I that's where I saw Mark Cerny. Uh, um, uh, you know, Balestra and Evan Wells, you know, Hip Hop Gamer was like right behind me in, uh, <laughs> Hip Hop Gamer was right behind me in, in, in the Sony press conference. Um, he was there, uh, in, uh, ran into, uh, met up with Industrial Gamer, shout out to Industrial Gamer. Um, we did, a, uh, me and, um, the other people I mentioned earlier, like w- with Breezy and, uh, did a little, 
podcast of our thoughts of the overall uh, experience. Yeah, and I've, I'm telling y'all a lot, you know, just how my day went. And I feel like I'm still leaving out a lot of details. It's information overload, man, I'm telling you. Because right now it's really late and I don't know when I'm going to put up this video. And then so is so much to even do tomorrow. So it's like I have all these press conferences to do. Uh, you know, well, yeah, I got all these press conferences to review. Haven't really watched so many of them. And um, I got to talk to y'all up about a lot. And uh, it's just so much going on. I think the video is actually about to cut off because it's run out of room. I'm actually not sure. But if it does, um, y'all know why. But uh, yeah, let me just end it. Let me just end it right now because the video might stop. So yeah, it, it's so much to talk about. Um, I, I want to say more, but the, I want the video to go too long. So thank y'all for, you know, watching. Um, I'm going to be bringing y'all more, obviously, to talk about later on. Yeah, that that's it for now. But it's been a crazy day, a lot to talk about, you know, just information overload, too, much, too many details. So in future videos, yeah. So that's day two vlog recap. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.